Uh, what, what's up, y'all? This is gonna be a quick video. I told y'all I would make a video after the Pistons game. I didn't even want to make this video because I cut the game off at halftime because I knew we was gonna lose. And you know, just watching the game, a hey, bravo, man. You, I feel you. I agree one hundred percent. And I was gonna say this in my video. It made me sad, bro, because I'm looking at the Pistons. I see talent. I see hunger from players like Stanley Johnson. I see will. I don't see a team that's not trying to win. It's so it's sad when the coach is destroying the team. I mean, Jim Caldwell, he hurt us a lot. But the one thing he did is help us a lot, too. And the difference between Caldwell being a bad coach and Van Gundy being a bad coach is you won't see Caldwell not put Marvin Jones and Golden Tate in the game. You you know, you, you won't see crazy shit like that. You won't see Caldwell, you know, let's say, get some random rookie off the street and put him in the game over Amir Abdullah and Theo Riddick. That only happens when they play so bad they lose their job because Tion Green was on the bench. And, you know, we had Stafford to offset Caldwell's being terrible. But... In 2016, with all those comebacks. But what happened? <clears throat> O-line crumbled. Stafford got hurt. That was a wrap. I mean, honestly, dog, the 2016 season, even if we win the Super Bowl someday, more than the 2014 season, that 2016 season is going to hurt me personally because I feel like we could have made some noise that year. And I know y'all thinking the Lions team weren't that good. We weren't. But Stafford was in top Four MVP. It was literally Matt Ryan, Tom Brady, uh, Derek Carr, and Stafford. And I'm telling you, he could have won us a playoff game that year, but he got hurt, and we lost the last three games. And I'm just, it just hurt me. Come on, if he didn't get hurt, one of those games we would have won for sure. And the New York game, we barely lost. But I'm sad, man. I'm not disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm legit sad because, like, I just see what Stan Van Gunny is doing. Like, I remember Luke Kennard got a foul, and you saw the fear of God in his eyes. He, he looking like, oh, shit, I'm about to go to the bench. Oh, no. And Stan Van Gundy, <clears throat> they pan they pan right after Stan Van Gundy. He let him stay out there. But you can't have your players like that. Scared if they make one mistake, they're going to get benched. You can't have fucking Jameer goddamn Nelson in the... Mm, Jameer Nelson is garbage! Why is he playing? Why is he on the fucking court? Look, I'm not a big D. Rose fan, but I want D. Rose coming off the bench over Jameer Nelson. And we need Reggie Jackson back so fucking bad. It's not because Reggie's the savior. Oh, he's the, the black Jesus. It's not because of that. It's so it should come off the goddamn bench instead of garbage niggas like Jameer Nelson. That's it. Like, uh, you putting... Uh, I don't want to rant. It's just, I'm watching what I'm seeing. Like, we'll probably make the playoffs, even though we, I know we look bad right, right now and all the Pistons fans want to be pessimistic. We'll make the eighth seed. It's not going to mean shit. Because mm, this is the Boston team, which is the team we're going to be facing. And the way they were looking, I don't know if we'll beat them. Um, It's just, and the thing is, putting Jameer Nelson in the lineup, it kind of messes, it messes up the chemistry. I think... I think, did we lose the first game with Jameer Nelson in the lineup? I can't remember. It's just, the Pistons lost, man. I mean, I didn't really expect us to win this game. But this man, Stan Van Gundy, is destroying my team. And me as a diehard basketball fan, it's hard, it's hard to watch, man. Uh, Let's just hope we made the playoffs and Stan Van Gundy gets fired. Maybe, maybe we should miss the playoffs and Stan Van Gundy get fired. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just... And you can see it in the players, man. They playing hard, but it's like it's a negative energy around the team, and I think it's coming from the coach. It's not coming from the players. Drummond was trying, and you know, but you know, I'm not gonna even rant, man. This video is over with, man. I'm gone.